and welcome to Exotic Fishing in Thailand which is the first proper fishing I've done in Thailand and we've just got the rods out behind us Baddy is my guide who's uh, basically told me what bait to use pointing me in the direction of the cast because I do not know what I'm doing here but there's our primer in here, giant Siamese carp giant Miko and catfish, there's all sorts, this is a lake I've already seen an arapaima come up for air around the other end so that will be a massive target to catch but any, I will take anything from here I'll just be glad to catch anything um, I've got Beth with me as well in the luxury lodge <laughs> so I'll keep you posted, hopefully we'll have some fish soon we've just got the rods out no idea how long you tend to have to wait or what the most likely fish is to catch but we'll just see how we get on Exotic Fishing has over 60 species of fish stocked in the lake, with 8 of these going to over £100 and some reaching weights in excess of £400. You get a shaded hut to fish from and bait and tackle is all included, plus a guide who can help you as much or as little as you want, and you fish from 8 in the morning till 7 at night. Plus they also have a shuttle bus that comes and picks you up from a hotel in Phang Nha. This right hand rod that we've put over to the to the lilies, hoping for an arrow primer is just getting nibbled to hell with little fish. We've just popped it right on those near that aeration pump, right near the weeds. Our guide buddy is just trying to catch us some little live bait, I think because we keep getting um, we keep getting the dead baits pecked off so I think we're going to swap up to some live bait because we have been seeing some arapaima around and I keep banging on about them but I would quite like to catch one of them I'd quite like to catch anything really but I'll take an arapaima for starters that's for sure that one's just come up over there arapaimas have a primitive lungs so they will come up and take a breath of air and that's when you'll see them Check this out, they bring you breakfast, tea you swim, you can eat and you're still right on your rods if one of them goes. Our guide kept tossing chopped up dead baits over the hook bait placed near the weeds and aeration pump and it wasn't long before we received the first run.
the red tail catfish, have you seen it? Oh, I've got it! <laughs> that, that was a good fight! I was proper going for them uh, reeds. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold much heavier fish up. That's a lovely Amazon red tail catfish. He's come from South America, but they stock them in a lot of these tar ponds. Great to catch. Uh, how big do you think, buddy? How big? 25 pound. And he feels it. He's really armor plated on the gill plates and on the head. Because it's warm, we got to get this fish back. I think that's quite a standard start to a session here. There he goes. Woo! That's a great way to start the fishing. But I just, uh, I just said that red tail catfish was 25 pounds. It was actually 55 pounds. I don't know how I thought it was 25 pounds. I was a bit giddy in the moment, but. He said 25, meaning kilos, so I think that converts to about 55 pounds, so that's a great way to start the fishing. I think they're probably the most common fish you'll catch in here, um, but it's still, it's still give a great fight, so yeah, not, not going to complain at that. Around midday we had some rain roll through and I was confident it might just get us another bite. You good? Yeah. I don't know what happens if I get in there and there's no guy there. Oh. I'll figure it out. This fish has gone so far. Oh my god, this fish has gone so far. Sorry. The guy's back, we're mm. rocking. The 
this fish stronger. We've had a second fish and it's a bigger red toe catfish. You can hear it making those noise, that's just a fish trying to inspire. This one is estimated at 30 kilos, so that's like 66 pounds or something like that. Which is actually, I think that's the biggest fish I've ever caught from fresh water, but obviously, yeah. Uh, these fish, like I said, are native to the Amazon basin in South America. But as we've had two of them, I am thinking they're the most common fish. Okay, time to get this slightly bigger red tail back now. And the session's going well. I actually thought that was a, a different species of fish because it went so far through the uh, through the weed over there, but it was just a slightly bigger one of these. But they are cool. Big dorsal, really armor plated head. And gills. Great fish. Got a little quiet since that last red tail. So I think what's going on is Vaddy over here is going to knock up some ground bait mix. We might have a switch of tactics, put some boilies on maybe, and try for a, something like a Siamese carp, a Julian's carp, something of that nature, Mekong giant catfish. Um, but I'm not quite sure because my tie is horrific, so don't really know what's going on here, but I'm quite enjoying it. Just making some ground bait balls up and I think we're either gonna throw them into the same spot, try and get some fish actually feeding up in the levels of the water and then we're gonna cast either a float fished blob of that or a method feeder right on top of him. I think that's the plan. So on this rod we've got a big method feeder in there and it looks like some fake corn he's put on the hook for me there. So we'll see if that does any good. Targets a Mekong giant catfish, Jillian's carp, Siamese giant carp, and probably a load of other stuff. Who knows?
example, we've got one rod still going straight out there with two pop-ups and a big method feeder. And then with this right-hand rod, with a dead bait, we've just literally snuck it right down under that bush. And hoping as the evening progresses, some fish come into the bait, we put in the margins there and we pick up a last night fish. Well, we've got third red tail, I don't know if this is going to focus, but third red tail, smaller fish this time, about 10 kilo, 20 to 25 pounds. But it's nice to get another bite because I didn't think that was going to be it, so to pick another fish up is really good. At least it's a bit easier to pick up this time. So I don't know if this is focusing or not because we're in pretty low light conditions, but we're going to get this fish back now because we've got some photos. Perfect. We did actually pop one margin rod back out after that fish and as soon as it touched down it went away with the biggest run yet. Because it was dark we struggled with the filming but these are some clips Beth got with her phone which I've left in for you but sorry it's not the best footage. Okay, we've got a 90 pound red tail catfish there, which is very heavy, believe me. Uh, we're not going to do a lot of filming because we've just got him in there. Uh, the head torch light so we're struggling in the dark but yeah i put this picture in as the footage was struggling but yeah this was the best catfish of the session at 90 pound and a great way to cap off the day thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time